Geometry Dash is one of the hardest video games out there. Chances are most people have at least seen the first levels, but what many people don't know is just how challenging this game can really become. We've seen time and time again rising players doing the impossible. Riot, Sunix, Enswish, to name a few. But nowadays, the level of time and dedication is on a scale like no other. There are not many other games out there that can match the skill ceiling for what Geometry Dash has evolved into, and for the players who can keep up with the ever-evolving difficulty, their level of skill and dedication is truly remarkable. But there is one player in recent times, one who has been able to seemingly beat some of the hardest levels this game has to offer with far less trouble than any other player in the game. With only having picked up the game in April of 2020, to becoming number one on the stats viewer in a little over a year, his skill evolution might just make him the best player this game has ever seen. His name is Space UK. A lot of Space's early recordings have either been lost or deleted, but his first demon would be completed in May of 2020 when he completed Decode by Wreckage in a little over 200 attempts. And with one demon completed, Space was ready for a big jump. He would jump to an insane demon, completing Windy Landscape for his second demon, but after completing Windy Landscape, he decided to go for another jump in difficulty, choosing one of the most famous levels in the game. Seventy-seven, I'm done. I was about, I thought I was about to fluke it. Oh my god. I knew I was gonna die at that wave part, Max, the last wave. After getting 77, Space decided to drop it, but that didn't mean he was done. Because for his third demon, he would beat something at around the same difficulty. Now with three demons under his belt, Space was ready to move on to his first extreme demon. And fast forward a month later... <laughs> After a worse death of 87%, Space completed Wasaretta for his first extreme demon and his fourth demon. I beat it! Yes! <sighs> yes! Finally! <sighs> yeah, I don't give a shit if I reacted. I just don't want to play this level ever again. <laughs> Fuck, yes. <sighs> After Wasaretta, Space decided that having a top 20 just wasn't going to cut it. And so with four demons completed, Space was ready for another big jump in his career. And on December 12th, 2020, Space premiered the completion for his newest, hardest demon, and his fifth demon completed. <laughs> no! The level took him 51,225 attempts. I beat the golden. Oh, you beat it? Oh, yeah. Holy oh, shit, that was one yes. attempt. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Let's go. The attempt count on the Golden was a clear sign that Space had just taken a huge jump. And so, a month after completing the Golden, Space decided to beat some tamer extremes for a while, which included Bilingo Vortex, Lucid Chaos, and A2 Marvel. He also completed D, an extreme challenge, as well as retitled the Conflict. And with nine demons completed, Space was ready for his next top 10. He did runs on the level in the past, but he didn't think he'd ever beat it. But on March 10th, 2021,
Well, the game froze on the attempt he beat it. Painful, but space wasn't a quitter. It took about eight days, but sure enough, This level. <sighs> Space now not only had 10 demons completed, but four of the demons were in the top 30, which is absolutely insane. He was also the first UK victor of tennis as well, and if his pace wasn't already impressive enough, he would complete Arctic Lights only a day after completing Canada. But this was only the beginning. Space would complete Catalyze the next day, and for the day after that, he would complete another top 10. Space completed Crimson Planet on March 21st in 25,000 attempts. This would also make him the first UK victor of Crimson Planet 2. That's unfortunate. I just beat Crimson Planet. Wait, really? What? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm recording. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Let's <laughs> be Kinos and Crimson Pan in the same fucking... Wait, what the fuck? Space now had three of the top five completed, with barely over ten demons completed. But Space didn't want just that. Space didn't want just three out of five. He wanted the entire top five. And for his next completion, he would go for a new hardest demon. It wasn't going to be easy. And in three weeks and five days, Space would fall through. This also makes Space the first UK victor of Tardis, one step closer to his goal. Oh my god. Nah, oh, this level's so shit. This level's so fucking shit. This level's so shit. Space would slow down for a bit following his one year anniversary of Geometry Dash with a reaction compilation. Following the anniversary, he completed Bloodbath on April 4th in about 600 attempts. This would be followed up with Sukub and Hell about a week after. Space is only now starting to make a name for himself in the community, for being one of the most underrated players in the entire game, sitting at only 1,300 subscribers. The week following Sukub and Hell is going to prove to be one of the most intense grinds in Space's career so far. Space has completed four out of five levels in the top five, but there was one left, and it would be the longest of the five levels. And so on April 12th, the grind began. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, yes! <sighs> Fuck this level! Oh. 
What about? I fucking be. I fucked the hand. I fucked this level. He did it. Space had completed the entire top five. Not only did Space achieve his goal within only a year of picking up the game, he also became the first UK victor of Zodiac. The level took him 28,267 attempts. And with that, Space took a long break from the game. For three weeks. Fresh off the back of Zodiac, on May 18th, Space completed Renovant by Nicrodox in 16,900 attempts. Following Renovant, he also completed Coretta in the same week, fluking it from 77. The level also took him only 7,900 attempts. I'll be Renovant. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Okay. I'll take it. That's convenient. That's pretty convenient. I gotta go in half an hour. Space was on a rampage, steamrolling Extreme Demons faster than 95% of top players. Space would then follow this up beating Cognition a mere 5 days after, taking him only 3 days as he had no life to the level for 3 days straight. I beat it. But after this, we wouldn't see any uploads from Space for over a month. It was weird to see Space not upload for that long, but that didn't mean it would be his last. Space returned on July 8th, and he completed the newly rated Fragile, a longer and harder remake of Colorado. While the level itself is solid, Space would have the worst experience on this level out of all of the levels he's ever played. I beat Fragile, yes! <laughs> But on the bright side, Space is getting close to having the top 10 complete. He only has three more levels to beat until he completes it. But before he continues, Space ended up taking a small break from the hardest levels to beat easier demons like Azurite by Silo and Sofly, a 9 minute insane demon, as well as beating a balanced version of Tartarus for fun. He then followed this up with 10th Circle by Dinapool as well. The Eternal Moment video that was uploaded after Fragile on his channel is actually a re-upload from four months prior, at around the time that he was completing levels like the Golden. The FPS in the original video was terrible, so he decided to re-upload it way later when he was able to fix it. YES! Oh my god. Yes, I'm so happy. Yes. Oh my god. Why? Yes. 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 Oh my god, yes. But on August 9th, Space would put his focus back into harder extremes, completing the rupture by Keynes in only 9,700 attempts. I beat the rupture. I beat. I beat. I beat. I beat. Yes. 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 Space was at an inhuman pace. It is extremely rare to see a player beat two extremes in a day. Well, that's because he actually didn't, but he did upload them on the same day. Space actually beat Thinking Space on August 5th, but was waiting for the fan cam to be made for the video before uploading it. That doesn't mean his achievement wasn't impressive. Space was also the first UK victor of the level as well. Oh my god, yes! 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 Oh my god, let's fucking go. Yes! 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 We wouldn't see an upload for 18 days. However, 
His next upload would be one of his most impressive achievements yet. In only 18 days after completing Thinking Space, Space completed newly verified Sonic Wave Infinity and only 14,000 attempts as well. Not only was he the sixth victor of SWI, he has been the first UK victor of six extreme demons since he completed his first back in August of 2020. It wouldn't take long for him to start going for other versions of Sonic Wave, including the original, which took him less than a day to complete, beating it in barely over 500 attempts as well. Let's go, I'll be Sonic Wave. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah, she does look like that, fucking hell. This would be followed up with Sonic Wave Rebirth in the same day, with these three versions being beaten in a row, with the easier two taking him barely over a thousand times. I beat it. Oh yeah. I was basically like fucking... I knew you were gonna beat it. That was so stupid. I should have beaten this in like under 300 attempts or something. Okay, GG. Super impressive. This would later be followed up by Exo only a day after. Exo would mark his 25th Extreme Demon completed, but Exo is a bit easier compared to his other extremes, and he would quickly jump back to harder ones. Oh man, this level's pretty scary. I won't even lie. About five days after completing Exo, Space completed Omega Interface by Platinum, also beating it in full detail, taking him 5,800 attempts. Let's fucking go! Oh my god, I just beat Omega Interface in full detail! Let's fucking go! <laughs> love it, I love it. This level took so long to beat though. Another five days go by, and Space completes Spectrum Cyclone by Temp in barely over 3,000 attempts. He didn't like the level too much, unfortunately. Oh my god, oh, I haven't been this nervous in so ages. Yeah. In so ages, yeah. I, 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 I heard the end of the song and I was like... Yeah. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. yes. I yeah, you did. Oh, nice, did you? Following this, he would beat some easier extremes compared to his most recent achievements. His next completion would be a level that is one of the most hated extremes in the game. On August 31st, Space completed Necromancer by TGI in only 2,800 attempts. While the attempts were low, the enjoyment was actually quite okay. This would now make Space number one on the UK Stats Viewer, passing the Ultra Block to claim the spot. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh my god, yes. Let's fucking go. For Space, this was only a motivator, as he would continue the daily grind. Following this, he completed Aquatic Auroras in barely under 2,000 attempts. Space completed Molten Core and Hyper Paracosm the next day, with both levels taking barely over 3,000 attempts together. Molten Core would mark his 30th Extreme Demon completed. Yes! Oh my god, bro, this level's so shit! Oh my god. Put this level back. Oh my fucking god, this is so bad. It wouldn't take long for Space to return to harder extremes again, with his next top 10 being completed only two days after Hyperparacosm, and on September 4th, Space would do just that.
Space completed Seri Never Clear on September 4th in only 5,800 attempts, only two days after beating Molten Core in Hypercaracosm. This level would give him the top eight completed once again. I just beat it. Yes! <sighs> Let's fucking go. Fuck? Oh my god. Holy fuck. fuck. Yeah, I just beat it. Fast forward four days, and Space completes Deimos by end level and more, fluking the level from an astonishing 62%, making it the biggest fluke in his entire career. Not to mention that it only took him 2,800 attempts, because he's Space, so of course it did. Oh my god, okay. <sighs> okay, cool. I'm very... Space is very quickly establishing himself as one of the best players. Sitting at only 2,500 subscribers, his achievements are nothing short of incredible. But his next achievement will be much, much harder than Damon's. On September 11th, Space would become the first victor of Truth, a top 5 extreme demon verified by Beiru. After a week and a half of grinding it out and getting a worst fail of 96%, Space completed the level in 14,032 attempts. This also makes Space the first victor of Truefet. What's even more impressive is that later on, Truefet ended up being placed over Tartarus following a majority vote. So technically, Truefet was supposed to be the level to dethrone Tartarus, but didn't. Nevertheless, a super impressive achievement. Oh, yes, let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking go, dude. I spent so many attempts. Oh my god. After Truefed, Space technically did have the top 10 completed. However, since Truefed had just gotten raided, it needed time to get placed on the demon list. And because of that, there was one level standing in the way of Space having the top 10. And two days later, Space would do just that. On September 13th, Space completed Promethean by end level, taking him 7,800 attempts. I beat Promethean. Wait, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Top 11 complete. Oh, Top 11 to me? complete. Let's fucking go, dude. And with that, Space completed the entire top 10. This was also at around the same time that Acheron was given to him, after Wolves dropped the level over drama that I will not get into. Eventually though, the level was given back to Wolves after the drama had died down. And so, back to grinding the top 30. Two days after beating Promethean, Space completed Cold Sweat by Para in record-breaking attempts, beating the level in only 3,900 attempts. Space also hit 3,000 subscribers at the time as well. Wow, okay, that was really fucking fast. Holy shit. That was really fucking fast. What the fuck? This would be followed up with Aronia only a day after, with Aronia taking him 4,400 attempts. About a week later, Space completed Calculator Core and Rust within two days of each other, with both levels being top 20s. His pace is starting to become inhuman, and unmatched with any other concurrent player. And his pace was about to accelerate into a godlike consistency, with one goal in mind, completing the entire top 25. And there was not one level that was going to stand in the way. No level was safe, and for the next month straight, space would begin the most intense grind of his entire career.
level so shit, bro. I won't even lie. I just need Ragnarok now, and then I pass it into from the start to so... He did it. Space had completed the entire top 25. There was nothing that could stand in his way anymore. It only goes up from here. Space could finally take a second to relax, and he does, completing Daydream in only 163 attempts. But there were a couple of things he still wanted. Space was still number two on the stats board, and he still hasn't gotten any verification projects. Well, that is, for now. On October 15th, Space would be given his first verification project, and he would make extremely fast progress. Oh. <clears throat> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Finally. What the fuck? Holy shit. Alright, cool. Wow. Yes! Finally! Holy shit! Is it the 33 to 100. Oh my... I got 92! Holy shit! Holy shit! He was getting so close. It could be verified any day now. Space was more than capable of verifying it, but all Space had to do was grind it. Otherwise, I'm gonna cough so much. Huh. Oh my god. Two weeks, seven verifiers, and 41,800 attempts later, Space had finally verified Slaughterbanks. The first level that could finally dethrone Tartarus after almost three years was finally complete. And Space was the guy to do it. Now it was a matter of if it could get rated or not. Regardless of that though, this is without a doubt one of the most impressive achievements in all of GD. But on October 29th, quite literally out of nowhere, Slaughterhouse, Firework, and Arcturus all rated at the exact same time. We knew that Tartarus was eventually going to get dethroned by something, but no one had any idea it would be two levels at the same time. It shook the entire community, and following this, Space's popularity skyrocketed. He went from having 9,000 subscribers to getting 15,000 more in the month of October going into New. Space was also given a new verification, being the nautical by Nave in level. The level is aiming to be around top 20. This was amazing, but there was a problem. With the eventual placements of Firework and Arcturus, Space would lose the top 25 to two extremely hard levels. But the good news is, is that when Slaughterhouse gets placed, Space will finally get number one on the stats viewer after getting a huge boost in this points. So becoming number one is fully secured. All there's left to do now is to grind Firework and Arcturus. Space decided to go for Firework first. It wasn't going to be easy, but Space was more than determined enough. 
And so on the 29th of October, the firework grind began. Oh my fucking god. Dude, this is what happens when I'm actually fucking good at the 36 game, man. Fucking, oh my god. It was almost a month since Space had beaten anything. Firework was proving to be a very difficult grind, but Space wasn't going to give up. And on November 20th, the grind would finally end. Yes, dude! <laughs> oh my god, yes! No, 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 this is fucking... <sighs> love so much, dude. And 31,823 attempts later, it was done. Space had finally completed firework after almost a month of sessions. Hard work does pay off. Now practicing Arcturus, Space is well on his way to completing the top 30, and eventually the entire main list. It's only a matter of time before Space does it, and when he does, he will make history. Now sitting at 24,000 subscribers, Space has done more than make a name for himself. He will go down as a legend, and there will not be many people who will ever be able to top him. At least not right now. Space currently has 41 out of the 75 levels on the main list, and it will only become easier the more he completes them. And that is the history of Space UK. And as always, thanks for watching.